Right, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another reaction. Today, we have a video from Real Life Love. We got the unbelievable scale of Black Holes Visualized. We see quite a few videos on Black Holes, so uh, I I'm definitely looking forward to watching this because the Black Holes are so interesting, man. Like, honestly, every time I watch a new video on it, it just blows my mind every single time. Let's see the unbelievable scale of Black Holes Visualized. So, uh, yeah, let's check this out, man. Black holes are one of the most bizarre things that we know of in the universe. Mm -hmm. Mathematically speaking, any object that has mass can become a black hole. That Mad. means that you, me, whatever you're watching this video on right now, and everything else can become a black hole if you crush it all into a small enough space. Wow. This space is called a Schwarzschild radius. If you condense all the matter of any object into its individual Schwarzschild radius, then the object will become so unimaginably dense that nothing can escape its gravitational pull, not even light. If you Bro, that makes so much sense when it's like put like that. Then you would have to find a way to condense all of the matter that makes up your body into an area one sextillion times smaller than a grain of sand. But the larger the amount of mass that gets crushed down into a black hole, the stranger the effect can possibly be. Let's take a Boeing so 777 weird. jet, for instance. If somehow the jet suddenly transformed into a black hole, its entire mass would be compacted into an area with an unimaginably tiny radius of just 3.386 Bro, what even is that number? Minus 22 meters. What even is that number? For comparison, number? the smallest atom is a hydrogen atom, which uh, has a radius of just 10 to the power of minus 11 meters in size. This would be uh, like comparing <laughs> the size of a human red blood cell to the entire island of Sicily, an incredible wow. difference in scale that's difficult to really wrap your head around. Yeah, this you can't even imagine like tiny black hole like that. would also not last long at all because of the effect of Hawking radiation, which would completely evaporate away the entire mass of the object in just one second. At this Bro, imagine like getting the science and equipment to do that. Like you, you, you get a massive object and you form a black hole and it's just gone in a millisecond. Point, you you literally have gone through all that effort for that. Happens. The entire mass of the tiny black hole would be converted into an insanely high amount of energy equal to 5 million megatons of TNT. What that the is 87,000 times more powerful than the largest nuclear bomb that humanity has ever detonated, and it would be enough to completely obliterate the entire planet. If you wanted to transform nice. Mount Everest into a black hole, you would need to crush the entire mountain into a space smaller than a nanometer, which is just one billionth of a meter in length, or the size of ten helium atoms placed <laughs> side by side of each other. It's completely unthinkable, so yeah. perhaps if we transformed a larger object like the Earth into a black hole, then things might be easier to understand. If we did this, the entire planet, everything that you've ever known, loved, or hated, Every person and everything. But there's no way how you can literally compact. Well, there is a way because black holes exist, but it's, it's just mind here, blowing. Have to all be crushed into a space the size of just a single US. Oh my penny. god! If you replaced the Earth with this penny-sized black hole, nothing would change in our solar system. Our moon would continue to orbit the penny-sized <laughs> black hole as if nothing had actually happened, because the mass would remain equal. If you wanted to transform the sun into a black hole, however, you would have to condense the entire thing into a space with a radius of just three kilometers. <laughs> Such a what space would boy. only be the length of I'm about still the laughing like the moon just going around a coin. One and a half central parks, but it would contain the mass of the entire sun inside of it. Wow. Once a black hole has formed, though, that seems it can both continue big, to grow in size by massive. absorbing additional matter like nearby gas and dust from its surroundings. Or on occasion, they can even consume entire stars and and solar systems. They can even wow. consume other smaller black holes to rapidly grow in size and ferocity. Let's take the black hole XTE J1650-500 for example, which is believed to be the smallest black hole ever yet discovered. It has a radius of just 12 kilometers, which is a little larger than the island of Manhattan, but contains somewhere between the mass of 5 to 10 suns inside of that tiny area. Man, that's area. nuts, because that's are tiny still in the, in like larger beasts than even this lurking the out scale in space. of the universe. Take another black hole named GCIRS-13E. There are a number of questions surrounding this one's potential existence, but if it's real, then its size is roughly the same as the continent of Europe. 
all while containing the mass of 1,300 suns what inside the of fuck? it. But even this is insanely tiny compared to a few more that are out there like HLX-1, which is designated as an intermediate-sized black hole. It has a radius of 295,300 kilometers. That pitch is insane. So it's about as wide as four Jupiters placed side by side, but it contains the mind-boggling mass of 100,000 suns inside of it. Lurking in the center of the Milky Holy Way galaxy, shit. however, is a supermassive class black hole known as Sagittarius A. It has a huge radius yeah, of 12,700,000 kilometers, about 5% of the distance between Earth and Venus. But this monster contains the ridiculous mass of 4,300,000 suns inside of that area. As insane as that sounds though, we have yet to arrive- Bro, you caught like- He's telling us this information, but you can't fathom it. You can't, like, get it into your brain and realize how many that it's is. the largest known black hole in the entire universe. The monster with the extremely ominous name of S50014 plus 81. Destroy this titan worlds. is sometimes classed into an entirely separate class of black holes, the Ultra Massive class. Its radius that is 1,600 insane. times greater than the What's distance an between the Earth and the Sun, and contains the mass of 40 billion wow, suns. Wow, what the fuck? Let that sink in for a moment. Take what the Sun, the which is already unbelievably huge compared to anything else on a human scale, and then multiply that by 40 Bro, billion that's times, mud. and you have the mass of this behemoth black hole. And if you're curious, that's also equal to this many Toyota Corollas, <laughs> which is a number that is so unfathomably huge <laughs> that I'm not even going to attempt to say it. Uh, what? <laughs> yeah, that's You can just look at it and understand, it's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. So this it's video was made possible. Wow, right. really, really good video. Enjoy that one. I actually love these space videos. If you guys got any cool space videos you want me to check out, just leave them down in the comment section below. But really good video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy too. If you did, make sure you thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.